As far as preventative therapies go, um, currently hydroxyurea um, is the mainstay of therapy in sickle cell disease. And hydroxyurea is um, quite an interesting drug that has been studied um, very extensively for, for quite some time. Um, it's a, um, a medication that we suggest to be used in individuals who are nine months and older um, with either sickle cell SS type or sickle cell S beta zero thalassemia. Um, the, the data surrounding hydroxyurea in the pediatric population um, comes from a study called Baby Hug, which has followed um, individuals for quite some time, showing the reduction in uh, basically uh, the majority of complications associated with sickle cell disease. The MSH study, which was the multi-center hydroxyurea, multi-site hydroxyurea study, um, published in the mid-90s, um, gave us the same data in adults, and, and that was um, a game changer for us. So we try to uh, initiate hydroxyurea therapy in our, in our children um, at, the, at the youngest age possible. Now, which is? Nine months, <laughs> nine months. Okay. So, so nine months <clears throat> is the bare minimum that they have to be. Um, hydroxyurea is uh, a medication that works by um, sort of providing a little bit of toxicity to the bone marrow. It's, it's what we call a ribonucleotide reductase inhibitor, and that causes a little bit of marrow stress and marrow toxicity. Um, so the side effect profile of hydroxyurea is um, something that is discussed very um, prolifically with, uh, with patients. We spend a lot of time discussing the um, adverse events and possible bad outcomes with hydroxyurea, and unfortunately that's resulted in um, some issues with adherence and patient comfortability with uh, their, the patient's comfort with um, hydroxyurea. We, we, do, we do struggle a little bit as the provider to keep patients on hydroxyurea. It requires pretty intense monitoring, um, requiring the patient to come to clinic about every six weeks. But what are the best, what, what are your expected outcomes if you get them? So the expected outcomes are, are increased, um, incre basically increased survival as an overarching principle, um, decreased pain, uh, a reduction in stroke incidence. The, uh, re really, the um, benefits of hydroxyurea can, cannot be um, overstated. Um, it is definitely a medication that will keep patients out of the hospital. Um, we, we saw uh, the most recent trial in hydroxyurea actually was the REACH trial, which happened in sub-Saharan Africa and it showed a uh, tremendous level of adherence in the 90% range. And the patients in that cohort did tremendously well. Um, it was a very eye-opening study um, that, that was recently published and um, really shows that if you take your hydroxyurea and you stay consistent with it, you really can have good outcomes. And you mentioned starting at nine months, but there's a, a cyclos for children two and older. What's the advantage of that? It's a, it's a formulation uh, difference between um, uh, sort of what we typically use in, in pediatric populations, which is the compounded solution, um, which is um, sometimes difficult to access because it requires a compounding pharmacy. It requires a lot of uh, work sort of behind the scenes, and, and, and patients may not have access to that compounding pharmacy able to deliver um, the, that, that solution. So, so Cyclos has been... Um, interesting in providing a low dose um, capsule um, that uh, allows us to start, um, you know, minimizing the, the necessity of a compounding form. So, could you tell us how you would define a patient that failed hydroxyurea? For me, a patient that uh, has failed hydroxyurea would be categorized by um, somebody who has had hematologic toxicity um, at, at, at um, you know, doses that are known to be safe um, that are very difficult to manage, number one. Number two, it would be people who have had um, other side effects like abdominal discomfort, nausea, vomiting, seem to be the most common ones um, that uh, limit our ability to use hydroxyurea. So I would say um, really between those two complications, so the, the sort of bodily um, side effects like gastrointestinal distress um, and in combination with the hematologic toxicity that hydroxyurea is known to cause, but sometimes disproportionately in certain patients.